Monday Night Football, the ninth snap for Jamal Adams in 385 days. Goes in low, helmet down, takes a knee to the head and clearly in distress from the moment the blow happened. Concussion-like symptoms, ataxia now, the buzzword, the stumbling, the wobbling. You see the knee strike the helmet. That had to hurt Daniel Jones, too. Jamal Adams taken off the field. Not himself. And here he is with the unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant. Not happy that the red hat, as they call him, is told uh, to um, leave the field and exit the game. So, he's being scrutinized and possibly will be disciplined by the NFL. Here's his apology. First and foremost, I want to apologize to the OG. You did everything right when you realized I was concussed. I apologize for any negative energy I brought your way. Watching the replay, I am thankful for your patience, knowing I wasn't myself in that moment. You're a real one, and you serve a great purpose that benefits the NFL and so many players. Prioritizing players' health is essential. Much respect to you. This is a very artful way to issue the apology because embedded in that is the key observation. I wasn't myself in that moment. I don't understand how the NFL could discipline someone who is in the throes of a brain injury for acting in a certain way when his brain is impaired. Football players are wired to play. He hadn't played for 385 days. He is processing the disappointment that he's being told he can't continue to play while he has a brain injury. And we all know he has a brain injury. And I'm not condoning the behavior, but it's the behavior that is the product of a clearly impaired brain. I really hope the NFL factors that into whatever it is they're thinking about doing with Jamal Adams. Agreed. A hundred percent. And I mean, you know, uh, the, uh, you know, even some of the fans who have been on him a little bit, it's just like, Hey, hey he likes football. He, he wants to play. He wants to compete. It's been a long time, but yeah, there's gotta be, like anybody that's been around a guy that's been like pretty severely concussed and a little bit out on his feet they they don't think coherently they don't and they say things that don't make sense and he obviously got emotional and lost there so yeah i'm not with it i'm listen i'm a little bit to the point too of i'm a little sick of the nfl and how easily they like to find everybody i'm just i'm a little i've had it a little bit I've never seen a group of rich people that like to take away money quicker than from people. I really am. They need to find a new system of this. It can't be guys losing a game check four weeks in a row for what we think was a legal hit and we never played football or this or that. I, I'm sick of it. They need to come up with something like maybe with like a three strikes, then you get fined, something like that. But I, I see guys on a weekly basis you know, get fined multiple weeks in a row going, man, this guy doesn't make that much money and he's almost playing for free because they deemed he lowers his head and maybe the running back did but they think he did and it's subjective and I don't like it and I think the NFL needs to rectify that a little bit two things two things yeah one the entire process is negotiated between the league and the union this isn't the league I know handing down an edict I know. on high two two now that there's transparency in the fine process for the first time ever they unveil every fine that was imposed for on-field misconduct in the prior week. The one thing I want to see on the back end is what's the result of the appeal? Yeah. This is just the, the not the allegation, but this is the NFL saying this is your fine. There's still a process where the fine can be challenged and the player has appeal rights. And sometimes the fine is rescinded through the appeal process. So I hope that the back end also has transparency that we find out not through reporting to, you know, whoever's going to post it on Twitter, an actual official document every week announcing the outcomes of the appeals from the prior fines. That's the only way to have a clear snapshot of who's getting fined, who's winning the appeals and how much money players are ultimately paying for these things that the NFL thinks they did. But the union has agreed to this process. So it is, as they say, what it is. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.